Let's see how to install SpeedSculpt. Go in the Edit menu, choose Preferences, click on Install, and select the zip of the add-on, just like that. Click on Install add-on, and that's it. The add-on is installed, and now you have to activate it. Click on this little uh, button, and that's it. The add-on is activated. Now let's see the add-on preferences. Click on this little arrow and you will see you will have some information and the location of the add-on. The location is in the property panel. Press N in the 3 view. That means you will click on N like that. You will have tools and you will have the add-on. Okay, so you can also click here on this little arrow and choose tools and you will have the add-on. Let's see the other information. You will have the auto name, the version of the add-on, the preferences, you will have info, support on Discord for customers. It's better to come on the Discord if you want uh, support. Uh, option. This is the option of the add-on. You will be able to edit uh, a lot of options. You will have uh, whatever you want. For example, if you want to change the category uh, to make rotopology, for example, or just rotopo. Like that, press enter, and that's it. Now the add-on will be in Rotopo. As simple as that. You will be able to show the help here. You will have the help here. I will activate it. And as you can see, you will have uh, information about every part of the add-on. Just like that. And you will also have some videos that will help you to understand, to learn to use the add-on. Just like that. Etc. etc. You can make an auto save if you want to save uh, your scene before adding something like that. You will not lose everything. You can smooth the mesh. You have some remesh settings like that. You have some din topo settings like that. Uh, some shading settings. Uh, you have an asset library. I will show you this later. You have also some k maps. If you want to make uh, a rotation of the EBL, uh, the voxel remesh, the voxel size edition, you will have uh, some tutorials I made on my other add-ons. You will have the add-on we made and some uh, links, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is as simple as that. Now, if you want to rest, uh, to reinstall, to update the add-on, you will click on remove. You will restart Blender and you will install the add-on as uh, showed previously. Install, select the zip, activate it, and that's it.